welcome to video geek uh, series where we discuss the latest on current education topics to enhance your knowledge right so we will start or you can say resume the discussion where uh, where we have left off on the topic of the producer consumer problem which is, which falls under the core topic of inter process communication uh, where we have learned the inter, uh, the word inter process communication what what are the meanings and uh, the things related to producer consumer problem so for in this video we will uh, we will see that what we have seen in the first video we will quickly catch up uh, from there and we will uh, see the solution of the producer consumer problem which was the only thing remaining to discuss in the previous video so the first uh, video as we have uh, i published on october and this is the second video after a long pause uh, in we are making in december the when this video is basically part 2 so let's start the discussion so in the first video we have seen what is the ipc critical section uh, and the, we have seen the real scale example and also we have seen the basic solution the thing which was remaining in the first video which which is a problem in basic solution and the actual solution of the problem producer and consumer right so we have seen the what is inter process communication and there are two types of processes this actually you can see refer the first video to see the full meaning and full explanation of this slide and this is the critical region that we have also seen the real scenario the with the example of farmer and customer and this is the real scale example where there is a farmer and customer and there is a shared warehouse where the farmer grows different types of uh, crops and the customer per, uh, consumes these crops right and we have seen the complexity by looking at the these three sentences right so this was the basic producer and consumer problem solution but uh, uh, due to race condition we have seen the race condition due to race condition we can see the conflict over here right so now this is the actual solution of uh, the classical the producer consumer problem the the producer consumer problem is very classical ipc problem ipc means inter process communication problem so basically the this solution was proposed by the scientist very well known scientist edgar w uh, dijkstra which you can see on the right hand side and this is the basic uh, flow chart or you can see you can say the pseudo code of the solution of producer consumer problem where there are two processes you can see producer and the consumer and there is a one buffer which uh, which you can see over here defines 100 which means the slots in buffer and count which means the number of item in the buffer right so producer will produce the item and increase the count variable and the consumer will consume the item and decrease the count variable that's the uh, thing which which is happening over here but uh, uh, in respective of or you can say comparison of comparison with the basic solution there is a sleep and wake up call over here which you can observe so let us understand the pseudo code first and then we'll uh, then i will explain the code which actually i have written in very general form so this producer uh, we will understand the producer process first so first of all this is a item which which it has created right so first of all while the loop is true uh, basically there is a infinite process of producer and consumer that's why this is a infinite while loop so uh, item is equal to produce item the first line will lead to generate a next item right so first line in producer producer's process will create an item then it will check if count is double equals to n which means if uh, the buffer is free if the if the buffer is not free then producer will go for sleep which means it it will it has created the uh, item but there are no slots remaining in the buffer so it will go in sleep if uh, if the buffer is empty which means there are some slots free in the buffer then it will insert the item and in increase the count variable saying that i have put it 
put the one item over there and increment the count variable which means the number of item i have uh, increased and then if the count is double equals to one which means if was the buffer empty which uh, if this is a first count that if this is the first item that the producer has produced then it will wake up the consumer which means now from now onwards producer will continue to produce so consumer can consume right so if the first item has been picked up or you can say put up into the buffer then it uh, the, then the producer will wake up the consumer saying that okay i am producing you can consume so now the let us understand the consumer process so first of all it will check if the count is double equals to zero if the count variable is zero which means there are no items in the buffer then consumer will go to go for sleep you can see the contradict contradicting with second line of the producer process which is saying that if the count is and then it will go for sleep which means there are no slots remaining to produce an item and place it in the buffer then the producer will go for sleep if there are no items in the buffer then the consumer will go for sleep if there are some item in the buffer then consumer will remove the item and decrement the count variable if there are no count if there are uh, count variable is zero which means uh, was the buffer full you can see over here comment over here which means if the buffer if the buffer is full then you can wake up the producer process and uh, as soon as the item has been removed it will take some time to consume it because the consumer is consuming right it cannot uh, consume the uh, item continuously it needs to wait for some time to consume it when after removing it, it needs to consume right so it it uh, it will wait or it, it requires some time to consume and then it will go for again again in the loop so that's how this uh, both pro uh, processes works and uh, this is the solution of uh, you can say producer consumer problem so now let us see the code which i have written for the simulation of producer and consumer problem let's look at the code in order to understand the code that i have written in the java language you need to aware about the threads and uh, basically that's all we you need to know if you aware about the threads then you can easily understand understand the code that i have written uh, in the first video we have seen this solution which was the related with unbounded buffer but now as we have a warehouse which means we have certain capacity in the warehouse or you can say in the buffer so now we'll look at the problem in uh, in the bounded buffer section which means uh, the buffer has some limits the thing which in which the producer will put the item and consumer uh, from from that buffer the consumer will consume the item right that has some limitation in terms of size so uh, in order to uh, in order to understand the code you need to know about the threads right so first of all if you don't know about the threads then you can search it out probably on to official website we'll we'll consider or you can say i'll consider uh, referring from the official documentation of java but uh, you can uh, for your ease if you don't want to uh, have trouble reading this documentation uh, then you can actually go for any website like java point or geeks for geeks uh, which are very good in terms of article making and you can refer those articles they are also inspired from this type of documentation but uh, they have certain things of representing uh, that uh, you can easily refer so there are basically two ways to create a thread by implementing a runnable interface and extending the thread class so i have used the second method by implementing the runnable interface and i have created the processes which which we can provide to thread uh, uh, like this new thread p and we can uh, start the thread right because there are two processes producer process and consumer process right so let us understand so this is the main code first of all i have created two crops 
as referring to that example which we have considered in the previous video so crops which means the item that can be produced so wheat can be produced and strawberry can be produced and you can see the production time consumption time for both of the process both of the crops are different and the name which i have given for or uh, to these crops then i have created the one warehouse or uh, the the place like buffer where we can store the produced crops and then uh, we have populated the list of production which means the list of crops which are going to be uh, produced by the farmer or by the producer and list of consumptions which means the items that are going to be consumed by the uh, consumer or you can say customer so by referring to this code you can easily uh, understand that i have created crop warehouse and the list of production and consumption now i have created one farmer and one customer class Uh, which are going to be produce the item and consume the item and i have given the warehouse where they can store or they can consume the item based on their nature like farmer will produce so it will use market which means the warehouse to store the item and the customer will use the market which means the warehouse to extract the items and i have created then i have created a uh, two threads uh, which which refer to this farmer process and customer process and i have started the uh, both of the process basically i will provide the code a uh, link uh, which i have uh, uploaded to github and you can refer the packages that i have made like uh, for the buffer uh, buffer package i have created warehouse which store the all, all the processes which we can do on the warehouse like uh, store crops like get crop for the consumer for the uh, cost, uh, you can say consumer to consume and then i have created one consumer package for the customer then i have created crops package for the crops that uh, we can produce and then i have created entity pro, uh, package for the item and the person uh, which are basically implementing the runnable interface and then i have created one producer package which contains the farmer so we also include production list silo storage transportation truck which are very general in language or you can say very easy to understand if there is a truck class then you can easily understand that truck is for transportation thread right so basically in order to simulate you need to do these steps right for uh, you need to create crops you need to create warehouse you need to create list of production and consumption then you, you need to create farmer and con a customer you can create multiple instances of farmer and multiple instances of uh, customer and you can simultaneously start all of them uh, by using the thread class and now for simulation purpose you just need to run this main class and you can see after the compilation finishes Uh, you can see uh, the lots of system out which are happening over here and you can simultaneously uh, observe the things which are happening over here see the it is saying producing which means it's a farmer warehouse is empty you cannot get strawberry which means this is a uh, uh, this is a a customer which is trying to get strawberries but the, uh, but the strawberries is not produced yet so it will say warehouse is empty you cannot get the strawberries customer has consumed one strawberries so after the farmer has been of uh, uh, farmer has uh, produced one strawberry so now the customer has consumed one strawberry you can see farmer has produced one strawberry producing and farmer has delivered strawberry to warehouse you can actually simulate the thing over here now you can see the thread is printing warehouse is full cannot store the strawberry which means the buffer is full and you cannot store the strawberries you can see if the farmer has produced all the item and uh, it's now exiting and stopping the production you can see after the farmer has stopped the production the truck is stopping the production 
sorry the truck is stopping transportation and all the real scenario which happens are uh, mentioned over here you can see all the related comments which can help you to understand the logic or you can see the terminologies in terms of producer and consumer problem and if you want to uh, see the thing which uh, actually we have seen over here this code then you can go to customer and this run method and also if you want to observe for producer process then you can go for the farmer class and over here the run process and you can see the things which are happening over here right so i'll provide the link of the github code in the description box you can refer that and you can go and you can from the github you can actually uh, grab or you can actually fork my project and uh, in your machine you can have the simulation of the same right so that's all for the producer and consumer process thank you for uh, actually listening to me and we'll see we'll see you in the next session of the video gigs uh, till now see you and bye bye